Namaste. Often in our mobile apps, we have a user profile. And when we have a user profile, we would like the user to be able to update their profile picture. And for updating their profile picture, we would want our user to be able to pick a image from either the device gallery or take a picture using camera and then crop the image in appropriate size to assign their profile picture. So in this tutorial, we will learn how to do that using two plugins, image picker and image cropper. So let us start. To start with this tutorial, you can just create a new Flutter project. This is what I have created here. First, we would add our dependencies. So two of the dependencies, as I said earlier, that we will be using are image picker. So this is the image picker plugin. The version is 0 0.6.5 plus two. And the next one is image cropper. The version is 1.2.1. Final code of this tutorial will be available in my GitHub repository. The link will be provided in the description. Now, let us run our project. While it is running, let me clear. Let me just remove this auto save. Let me clear this comments. And let me totally remove this my home page. Okay, let's create profile page. Okay, and in profile page, let's create a stateful widget. So, profile page, and the profile page should run. scaffold uh, let's say profile and the body should be okay it's fine we have a container let's just give it a list view list view children and first children let's give circle avatar and radius let's give it 80 child let's give it picture this is our profile picture okay let's separate the height and let's create a raised button Yes. On trust, let's keep it empty for now. So let me save this. Okay, we have a profile picture here, which should display our picture when it is picked and cropped. Next, here is a button to pick a image. So when we press this pick image button. First, we'd like to show the user two options, whether to pick it from gallery or take a picture using camera. And when user selects one of the options, we'd like to use the image picker to load the specific option. So, first, let us say file picked image, which will be null. Let's import file from .io, not from .html. Okay. And so in pick image, let's call so pick options dialog. And let us create this functions. Okay. In here, 
let us pass context because dialog showing a dialog would require a context this is a build context now so dialog context context and let me just use a alert dialog context return alert dialog and content will be home children first list all first option will be text pick from gallery on tap let's keep it empty for now next option will be list style take a picture that will be done using camera on tap okay so here so with this we should be able to show the dialogue yeah our dialogue is looking pretty good now what I'd like to do column uh, main axis size let's make it main axis size dot mean so that it will not take up the whole space and let us create another function here load picker here we would like source image source this is from the image speaker package image source image source then what we'd like to do is let's make this async in here picked equals to image speaker dot pick image sources source we need to await as this is a sync option await and here we'd like to check if pick is not equals to null then set step pick image equals to picked all right and from this we'd like to call load picker image source will be source this is gallery and we'd like to call the same function here this should be camera let me format Okay, let me save this now pick image pick from gallery okay we should allow permission then we should be able to pick using this and few things when the image is picked I think we would like to first thing we'd like to do is Last thing we'd like to do here is pop and next thing that we want to do if this picked image is not null here background image picked image is not equal to null then file image pick image otherwise null and this text would like to hide it if pick image equals equals null then we want to show this otherwise we want to hide this okay so this should load our pick image okay so let's try again using camera take a picture got it clicked pick see our picked image is displaying here 
but the profile is not displaying properly for that I can just do wrap with center this should fix okay so now we are able to pick an image using image speaker either through camera or through gallery now the next step will be allowing user to crop the image after image is picked right okay so what we would like to do is if picked image is not null instead of updating this picked image here we'd like to be able to we'd like to make the user able to crop the image so let's make another function crop image and let's call it here crop image async okay and in here we'll use our image cropper package for that first cropped should be aware image cropper dot crop image the source path will be underscore okay we need to pass the image from here so we we'll need to pass this picked file picked and source will be pick dot path okay and next thing so most of the time for profile picture what we would want is let's say aspect ratio to be crop aspect ratio ratio x 1.0 ratio y 1.0 this is to make the picture square okay. and if now if crop is not equal to null then finally we will assign set state underscore pick image equals to crop okay after doing this let's try it again let's pick a image let's pick it from gallery pick a image okay so to use the image cropper plugin if we see at their description we require to do one step which we did not do earlier that is for android in android manifest.xml we need to copy this line okay so manifest on the main inside application let's put it here let's save it now we need to exit and run this again doing this is required because the image cropper uses native activity that is provided inside the image cropper package after doing this now we can do pick a image pick from gallery pick once we pick we are shown the crop from which we can rotate see we can rotate the picture okay and we can zoom in and zoom out to crop the picture finally when we are ready to crop the picture we can just press this tick mark and our cropped image is displayed here now this picked image file contains our cropped final image which you can upload to your database or which you can save in local database as a user's profile picture and image cropper package here provides bunch of other facilities so if you want your profile picture to not be larger than certain pixels that we can assign here max width let's say let's give it a 800 and if you don't want this fixed crop aspect ratio what we can do is aspect ratio presets that we can use crop aspect ratio presets original 
Shear presets, let's say 16 is to 9, 4 is to 3. We can provide some of these presets. And we can remove this. Now, if we try it again, pick from gallery, pick an image. Now, we have three options. So, what aspect ratio do we want? 4 is to 3, 16 is to 9, or original, rotate, and scale. So we have now three options. Before, when we fixed the aspect ratio, we had only two options. Also, we can change the color. So this top action bar color. Let me format this document. And here, so Android UI settings. Here, activity, wizard color, background color, crop frame color. Mm. Status bar color, toolbar color, toolbar title. Okay. Status bar color, let's use color start red. Read toolbar color. So I think this is the we want. This is what we want here and toolbar title. Toolbar title is I think a string. Crop image. So now if I exit this, pick image again. This see and maybe there is something regarding toolbar widget color color start white so pick 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 now so this is how we can customize the picker to match our apps theme similarly we also have ios ui settings that you can use to customize various things and there are other settings which you can go to their page pub.dev and you can see those in action see here are all the options that are available thank you everyone for watching this tutorial if you like my videos give a thumbs up subscribe hit the bell button and share this videos provide comments help me improve thank you